Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today I have a review for you, a product from Amor Pacific that was sent to me from Amor Pacific and through Optoly. And it's the Treatment Enzyme Peeling Mask. Um, here's the outer box and here's the actual product here. And um, I'm just going to do a little quick overview of it and then I'm going to cut to a demo portion of the video where you're actually going to see the product in action. Then I'm going to talk some while I'm doing the video or the demo of it and then I'm going to come back and give you my final thoughts. But anyway, it's from a more Pacific. You can get this at Sephora and there will be a link in the description box um, for the product. And this is a let me just get my glasses on right now so that we can just um, see here. It's a um, transformative hydrating glycolic acid and enzyme mask that instantly exfoliates, Im improves clarity, and evens out skin tone. And it's a treatment enzyme peeling mask that's a gel form. Um, it has a little bit of powder in it, but it's not gritty. And you just put it on a clean, dry face, you massage it on, and it turns white. You leave it on for five minutes, and then you rinse it off. It's very gentle, very easy to use, and um, you'll see all of that in the demo. So let's just go right into the demo, and then I'll be right back with my final thoughts. Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my bathroom. Um, today I'm going to be reviewing a product that was sent to me through Otley and from Amore Pacific. And it's the um, Amore Pacific Treatment Enzyme Peeling Mask. Right there. And that's why I am in my bathroom because I'm going to be doing a demo of it. And what this is, is a treatment enzyme peeling mask. And it's a wash off peeling mask containing botanical enzyme powder formula that removes dead um, surface skin cells for smoother, brighty, brighter looking skin. You're supposed to use it one to two times a week after washing your face in the morning and at night. Um, so that's kind of confusing to me. So are you supposed to, when you do it the one to two times a week, the day that you use it, are you supposed to use it morning and night? Or just morning or night? Don't know. Take an appropriate amount, depending on the skin condition, and evenly apply on dry face until the powder melts into a white color. And then after five minutes, you're supposed to wash with tepid water. Or lukewarm water and recommended amount per session is five mil and it's supposed to help with brightening and smoothing and just getting rid of that surface dead skin cells and then here is what the container looks like something I like filming on my phone is you can see stuff up close but one thing I don't like filming on my phone is I don't know where to look so if I'm looking all cross-sided is because I don't know where to look and I have my readers on <laughs> so I can read things and plus my bathroom lights of course is horrible like anybody's bathroom lights right and this morning it's actually Mother's Day and my husband and I are getting ready to go see my mom and dad for Mother's Day and I haven't been able to get a hold of them so I'm hoping they're going to be home big old breeze we have been at my antique store, Red Rooster Antiques in Warner, we put in some new showcases and um, moving them around. As you get older, you start bruising oh, easier and easier and easier. And I don't even remember how I even got that bruise, but I got this big old bruise there now. But anyway, okay, I don't know how much five mil is, so I'm just going to put. I'm just going to put about that much in my hand. That's about how much I would use a cream mask. And um, it's kind of a greenish color. And it says you're supposed to put it on dry skin, which my face is dry. It's clean. I just got out of the shower. Um, did my Sunday morning Olaplex um, treatment. So, and it says you're supposed to put it on your skin and rub it around until it turns white. 
Now it's not really, it, it, you can see the powder in there. I don't think you will be able to see the powder in there, but I can see the powder. Even though it's a cream color or a cream feel, I can see the powder in there, but it doesn't feel gritty at all. So you're supposed to rub it in here until it turns white is what it said to do, right? And that what we read? I do believe that's what we read. Okay. And I do believe it's turning white, right? Yep. It's turning white. It has a nice scent to it. I like the more Pacific products. I have a couple that I am use, and while we're waiting the five minutes, maybe I'll talk about those, or I might just cut away for the five minutes, just to make this video a little bit faster. Oh yeah, see how that turned the white? I think I'm gonna click over here into my mirror, just so I can see. I wish it was sunnier out. It's supposed to be really nice today. Last few days we've had, it's been cold and rainy. I said, was it yesterday morning? No, Friday morning when we got up, it was in the low 40s. I mean, for May, low 40s and cold and rainy. My daughter is officially out of school. Grandkids are officially out of school. My daughter teaches, I don't know. If knew that but my daughter teaches um she was social studies teacher but next year she's going back to math teacher um year before last she was math teacher and the school she just teaches at a, a small rural school and that year that she taught math their statewide test in math was the best that they had been in a really really long time and then this year she taught social studies and the math scores were horrible horrible and so the principal and the school board wants her to go back to teaching math and not only teaching math but being in over the whole math being in charge of kind of like of the math teachers and being in charge of the math curriculum, so to speak. I told her she better be asking for a raise to be have that much responsibility. And this is only her third year teaching. So she's not even tender yet. So I'm just gonna rinse my hands. I'm gonna let this sit five minutes and I think while I'm going to do that I am going to um, cut off and go fix my drink <laughs> my fake root beer <laughs> that I drink and um, after the five minutes I'm gonna come back and rinse it off and see how my face feels but well first of all before I do that I'll show you the uh, more specific I hope that goes my other side of my skincare cabinet but the other a more Pacific product that I use is this enzyme powder I just have a little um, deluxe size sample of this I've had the big size and it took forever to use that because it doesn't take very much of this and this is a powder and you just put a little bit in your hand and um, add water with it and you just use it like you would a face wash and this is gentle enough that you can use every day and it's like an enzyme peel um, I use it just two or three times a week as a face wash of the morning and I really do like that and then the other product I'm gonna step out of focus here into my skincare fridge and get it And it's the Amore Pacific Vintage. Oh, I can't read what this says. Where's my glasses? It's an essence. And I had got this back in November, the single extract essence. And it came in a kit. And it looks like this here. 
I would really like to have the full size of this. And I actually applied for the full size of this through Autelie, but I was not accepted to get it. Wah, wah. Because it's so expensive, but it is so nice. It's one of those fermented um, essences, which is wonderful for your skin. And oh, I was so disappointed that I didn't get it, but oh, I'm down to there. I use this in the morning, and mm, I love it. I love it. But anyway, those are the two more Pacific products. No, wait. I have another one. This was in that kit too, and this is a moisturizer. This, um, I'm not that wild by this moisturizer because it's just not enough moisturization for me. It's the Essential Cream Fluid. I've been using this of the morning as just a morning hydration. Which looks like that there. I hope all that's not, the writing's not backwards on that. It looks backwards to me when looking at it. But, um, it's okay, and I mean, it has a little pump on it, but it was in this kit too, so I've been using those. But I really like this. I really, really like this. This may be one of those essences that I, um, once I get done with some of my other essences, instead of replacing like two or three of those, I eliminate those and then just get this one, because this is really nice. Okay, it has been the five minutes, and before I rinse it off, I wanted to kind of show you how it looked. Um, it hasn't really dried down. It has stayed nice and creamy, um, so it's not drying on the skin. It hasn't gotten tight or irritant to the skin. It actually feels pretty good. Uh, I could probably left it on even longer than five minutes, um, but of course, I don't know how it's going to react to my skin, so I don't want to do that. Um, before I rinse it off, I wanted to go over some key points um, before I rinse it off to kind of let you know that it is an AHA and glycolic um, acid, so it does exfoliate the skin cells on the top layer of the skin, which we kind of already talked about. It just didn't really give you the, the acids that is in it so that you kind of know about that. Um, it does have this outer packaging that this went into like this. So... Let me read you what is on here. It has papaya enzyme in it, so if you have an um, allergic reaction to papaya, then keep that in mind that that is in there, which I have found that a lot of um, products that have enzyme in it, fruit enzyme, that they use papaya a lot. Um, it's gentle enough for skin types, for all skin types, um, delivers instant results, Packed with more than 60% green tea water, um, the cooling gel to cream formula hydrates and smooths while revealing brighter looking skin. Um, the AHA glycolic acid is 0.7% and the AHA salt sodium lact lactate is 0.6% on the ingredient that was listed here on the box. Boy, I love these new readers. I can read. I mean, that was like that tiny and I was able to read that. That is just awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, the papaya removes dead skin cells and supports healthy turnover for radiant skin. And the green tea water is just for help to hydrate and soothe the skin. So, and like I said, it's very comfortable. Um, I haven't had any, put my laptop down, but um, yeah, it's not, it hasn't dried up. It just feels really, really good. Um, I can still kind of move it around. It's very hydrating. So I think this would be definitely a winner for um, us dry skin girls for sure. But yeah, so I'm gonna get some water and I'm gonna rinse it off and we're gonna see what my skin looks like. I'm just gonna take my washcloth and just kinda seems to rinse or to come off really easily. I 
not having any issues with it like sticking anywhere. Actually, it's my phone. Look over here on there. Wow. Very smooth. I like it. I like that a lot. I like the fact that it didn't dry down and it just feels really good. And I didn't seem, it doesn't seem to have made me red anywhere. I mean, from my washcloth, I'm a little red. That's how my skin is. The time I touch it, it gets red. But yeah, I like that. So, and I know it says only one to two times a week, but I might do it a little bit long. More than that. But anyway, so that is it for the review on this product from Amore Pacific. There will be a link down in the description box for the product. Um, it is available at Sephora, so um, you can find it there in that just that link there in the description box. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you enjoyed, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Okay, I am back with my final thoughts on the product. Um, this is later in the day. Um, I used this this morning, and then we went, you know, to my mom and dad's. And I would tell you that, you know, I did not feel any kind of irritation whatsoever throughout the day. My face, I felt like, was very glowy and just felt very smooth and just fresh and hydrated. And I really liked the results that I seen from this. It was very subtle at first. First I thought, well, I really didn't do anything. It was just kind of hydrating. But I have really, I've been looking at my face all day long. <laughs> um, first of all, I wanted to make sure that there wasn't, you know, any kind of irritation that would have produced throughout the day from using this. I didn't see any raw spots peeking through or anything like that. I did notice after I had rinsed, you know, with the washcloth. I did notice that I had some spots here that I missed that was kind of white. So as I was putting my makeup on, so I had to kind of get those off a little bit. But um, my makeup went on very smooth afterwards. I didn't have any problems with my makeup not going on. And I just think it really helped my skin. And I really did like this. So I would definitely um, recommend this. It was very gentle. So I feel like even if you have um, very sensitive skin and maybe you could not use an enzyme pill, I would say that this may be one that you could possibly use. I would go into Sephora and ask for a sample of this before you purchase it and then take it home and just try it and see. But I do, I feel like it would be gentle enough, but effective because I have pretty, pretty stout skin that usually doesn't um, get irritated with it, with anything. And um, yeah, I, I felt results and I liked the results that I seen. So I'm definitely going to be using this. I said one to two times a week. I'm going to try it maybe three times a week and see if there's any irritation that way. I'm going to be a little bit of a rebel that way and use it three, maybe even four times a week and see if there's any type of irritation. Anyway, but I do like this. I recommend it. And again, that was from a more Pacific. It is the treatment enzyme peeling mask. So anyway, if you see that in Sephora, look for that, ask for a sample and give it a try. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you enjoyed and I'll talk to you later.